Today we are doing Julius Caesar. So anyways, we are gonna get started with Julius. Fun fact about Julius, Julius Caesar was loved by his people. Um, he fought for his people, he tried to re reduce debt, and improve living standards, and fix and fixed the unemployment. So um, from what I've read, um, he tried to do really good. All right, we're gonna get started. We're gonna do his face, so we're gonna start with a circle. So just do an oval. Wow, I made that oval a little too big. I'm gonna erase it here. Okay, so we're gonna go down the middle and then go across the middle, okay? So we're gonna put his eyes in there. So we're gonna put a The shape of his eye. This is where the little duct is, and then come back around. Okay, so do the same thing on this side. Go up and over, do a little bloop, where the pink red is, and then come back. Okay, so inside there, we're going to put his eyes in, and inside we'll do a shiny, and then we will be sharpening in that with purple. So we have a shiny, and then sharpening with. Did I say purple? I caramba. Okay, so right down in the middle down here, just so we do a jelly bean so we know, okay, the mo nose is right there and the mouth is right there. Okay, so we got that going on. So now we can erase the T-bar. We don't need that anymore. Oh, well, we kind of need it for the ears. So come over here where the ear is and this is where we know where the ear is gonna go. Same thing over here. There's only a partial ear because he's slightly turned. And now for his eyes, we're gonna do the crease line on top of the eyes. And then under, I kind of gave him some little wrinkles and uh, a line underneath where his lashes are. A couple of wrinkle lines and then a line underneath, okay? I used a ultra fine Sharpie, so that helped. So for his eyebrows, I tried to make him look like he had thinker eyebrows. Deep in thought, trying to fix Trying to fix the world problems, you know? And I put a couple of creases because he's deep in thought. All right, so for his ear, you're gonna come over here and erase right here so it looks like it's connected, okay, for his ear. Here, we're only seeing a partial, so we're just seeing a little bit of that ear. Okay, for his nose, let's give it a little bit more uh, distinction. So I'm going to make it come down a little bit and then make the nostrils a little bit more more something and then I'm gonna make a line nose line there okay and on either side here this is his recent crease lines all right for his mouth we're just gonna keep that line right here and then we're just gonna give him a bottom lip so on his face I made it a little bit more angular so from here to here just make it straight here to here, let's make it more straight. We're gonna make him have a jawline and then make it have a jawline. Give him a slight chin and then bring it back up, okay? And then give him a jawline right here. So it kind of gives him a little bit more angles so it's not round like a Easter egg. Okay. So for his neck, I want it coming right where the ear come off, may come down. So that's his neck. And for his, right around his ears, we're gonna be putting his leaves. So um, I guess I should have looked up. Okay, so we're having a leaf come here. We're gonna have a leaf coming here. So you're just gonna be layering the leaves on top of each other and have it wrapping around. So we have another leaf right here. So we're racing there so we can see. And then I'm gonna do another leaf and then one more sticking out on top, okay? And I put a center crease on all my leaves. So you could do that too, to make it look more like leaves. So it's wrapping around his head here. For the hairline right here, it looked like the style back then was 
the short hair with the brush over. So we'll do the other side now. So this is where his hairline is and you can't see where it's brushed over entirely. And now we'll let's put the leaves in there. So let's put the next leaf. So you wanna make sure you erase in there so we can see the leaves are laying on top. Another leaf and this one right on top. So let's put the crease line in between the leaves to make them look like leaves. And then for his hairline, you're just gonna connect it right here. They had the short, from what I've seen, short bangs. So we're just making him have like a short little side swoop. And you can erase right in there so we can see where his hair comes on. If you like to do lines, so you can see some hairs, go for it. Okay, so there he is. If you wanna add a couple of like hairs inside his eyebrows, you can do that also. All right, so now for his body. So right down here, we are gonna do a circle and then inside a circle. So we're gonna turn this into a flower. This is the decorative clasp. That's connecting his sash. Okay, and you put a couple of lines in there. All right, so now we want to, coming out right from here, bring it around. This is gonna be his big drape. And then you wanna put a couple more lines. You could just make them swooshing around and then coming from the bottom, we'll make this one come more around. So all you have to do now is just add some more of these lines and then coming out here, add more lines. Okay, so that's, you can make them connecting if you want. And over his shoulder, it's gonna be wrapped around his shoulder here. So let's wrap it around the back end. If you want, let's make it so it looks like it's more drapery and then more like crease lines. So he has a shirt underneath. So we're gonna be making his shirt underneath. So that's gonna be a different color. I made that a little bit different, but that's okay. Make his little shirt go down. Okay, so coming out, the his is his armor. So it's just gonna wrap around like this. And I made it, actually, come down like this and it looks like it's like a piece that comes over and then I made a just a circular clasp here so you just make a circle here and I just made a decorative triangle with a circle and then you want to parallel this for the decoration okay now on this side this is where his chest plate comes out we're only seeing part of it all right so coming out is looks like the leather decorations. So what I'm doing is they look like just pieces of hot dogs and then you want to parallel line these in here. And he's got some more straps coming out. You want to make these, they don't have to be perfect evenly in the bottom so it looks like they're like individual strips. And then coming off this, I'm just gonna do a basic line down and then I'm gonna show you how I made the fringe. So then you can just come in here and then make your lines down. And then after when we sharpie it, that's when you can make them different lengths. See how I'm doing this? So it looks like they're individual pieces. Make them more rounded so it looks like it's fringe coming off. But right now, we're just doing the lines down. Good job. So then we'll make those when we sharpie individuals. Bloop, 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 bloop. And he's got a shirt underneath. And this is his part of his chest plate. Okay, so now it is sharpie time. I did the ultra fine sharpie to sharpie it all, and then I went around it and did a little extra with the regular. So let's get going.
Okay, time to double sharpie. forgot is to put I wanted to put the hair lines in there so if you guys want to put hair lines in there you can okay and I put a couple hair lines here okay I think we're ready to color what else do we know about them okay so we want to use um, peach for the all-over skin color okay so there was Julius Caesar, this is this guy, but then after him, there was Augustus, who became the first emperor of Rome, and he actually took on the name Caesar, um, so it was Caesar Augustus, in honor of Caesar. And hence after that, um, the rulers kept the tradition, and so before their name, they would put Caesar. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm just coloring the whole thing, just a solid color. And unfortunately, Caesar was assassinated um, in 44 BC. And there were 60 cons conspirators who attacked him because they didn't want him to get too powerful. And it was he had 23 stab wounds but it only took one to take him down. And that was in the, they stabbed him in, the fatal round was in the aorta. Sorry, buddy. I'm sure that's not a way to, to go. I think we all we have a choice on way to go is peacefully in our sleep. I don't know of anybody that's happened to other than my aunt. She fell asleep in her chair she, from what I heard, had a peaceful look on her face and she was 82, 81 or 82, I believe. Anyways, that's the way to go. Getting stabbed? Mm, not so much. No, can't imagine that would be pleasant. So now I'm going to go around the outside of everything and just give it a little extra. I'm putting more shadow on this side, so if you want to add some more color to this side of his face, go for it. I'm gonna put more underneath the nose. And then definitely you wanna put more underneath its neck right there. As you can see, it's a little more shadow down there. So now you're gonna come in with your tan, and this is where you're gonna give a little extra. So, um, Julius Caesar was famous for being a Roman statesman. Um, and let's see, he, and he helped with the, in the 60 BC, he helped with the rise of the Roman Empire. Dun, da, 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 da. Wouldn't we all love to have a time machine to go back in time, right? That'd be awesome. So what I'm doing is now I'm going to go over and give it with the tan, some more shadows around. I'm going to go over the lips a little bit. I'm going to always, I always go around the eyes. And I'm going to go under the eyebrows to give a shadow. And around the ears. Okay. I think that's good for now. I'm sure he was a bit tan because they didn't have sunscreen back then, right? Okay, so let's do his eyes. I gave him hazel eyes. So I just did light brown, darker at the top, and then make it go lighter at the bottom. And I'm gonna add a touch of yellow, just to give a little personality plus. So I'm gonna come in there and just do yellow at the bottom. And then I'm gonna come in with my gray, and you wanna give it the shadow under here. So you're gonna right under here, give a shadow. 
And then I'm just gonna color his hair gray. So right underneath here, do it kind of like white and gray. So I'm not gonna solidly color the whole thing in. Well, white, gray, and then his hair too. So it's gonna be darker at the top and I'm gonna have the tips be more white. So also I read, I'm hoping it's true, that uh, Julius Caesar, uh, let's see, uh, him and Cleopatra ha met each other in Egypt and he had a kid with her. So there you go, a little boy. Sure, that's a, that was two famous parents. Wow, right? Okay, that's all of the gray I used. Then I'm just using a touch of pink for the lips so he doesn't look like he's a shriveled old thing. And I put a little pink right there and then just a touch of pink on his cheeks so he didn't look too pale. Okay, that's all I did with the pink. Now I am going to use green. This is the jade green around the leaves. So I'm gonna color it medium, and then around the outside, I'm gonna color it a little bit harder. So medium over all of them, and then come in around the outside to give it a little oomph. What else have I learned? Uh, oh, so back, before Caesar, so the Romans had a calendar year, but it was only 355 days long. Well, if you know how the earth goes around the sun, it actually takes 365 and one fourth days. I know, isn't that odd? To go around. So every year was kind of off. So Caesar went in there and he made a calendar that was 365, but the problem is they had 365, but then there's that fourth. So you made a leap year. So that was Caesar's calendar and that stayed in existence from what I read until the 16th century. And then it became their Gregorian calendar. Anyways, that's, they were pretty smart, but I guess they didn't have television and all that to distract them. So they had more time to use their brain and for him to rule he had to be smart so what i'm doing is i'm taking just regular green and just giving a little extra on the bottom so it there we go okay so now i am going to take the uh, my red and i'm going to color all of his sash red this is just medium pressure and then i'll come in and make shades but this is just going over the whole thing. So now you're gonna come in, oh, we gotta do the back half, this is So now to get it so it looks like it's draping, now you're gonna take your red and you're gonna press down harder along where all your Sharpie is. All the crease lines, so just come in and press harder. I'm gonna show you a part of this just so I don't have to color the whole thing in again. Just pressing harder along the Sharpie. Okay, so then you're gonna come in with your mahogany and go in there and you're gonna make it even harder. Press down really hard along that crease to give it that, really that royal look here. So do you see how the difference is between this and this? So I'm just going right along that crease with the mahogany. So you're gonna do the same thing on all of it. And then the rest is just this beautiful 
golden yellow. Um, and this is golden yellow, his little clasp. So you're just gonna go around and color this. And you can just end somewhere down here and just And then to make it look more gold is you're gonna take the tan and this is when you're gonna go under everything to give it shadows to make it look more like he's wearing armor, like gold armor. So go around all your little Sharpies. Okay, then this part, I just did light brown. I colored the whole thing in, just to me just medium pressure, the whole thing in light brown. Oh, he does have like a little red shirt popping out there. I just picked red for royalty. Then you can come in and press a little harder along the edges especially right under here, so it looks like he has layers going on. And you're gonna do that between each one of these. And a little time consuming, but it'll be good at the end. Um, just doing a little touch more. Then I went in with my regular brown and this is when you can come in and just press a little harder along all the edges to make it look like it's gonna pop more. Okay, so I think you guys can finish. I put a blue background in and red down there, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.